Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler Arias aka Ty Killington. Yeah man, alright, today's video I am bringing you the ultimate bunker business buying and selling guide. Basically everything you need to know 2021 edition, alright? Every year I do these for the businesses and this week bunker business happens to be double money on the sales, alright? Pretty cool, definitely check that out. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. Ring the bell, turn on notifications, of course drop a like. It's going to be a banger, all right? Let's go ahead and get started with the locations that are best to purchase of what you need to buy. So Chumash Bunker is going to be overall the best bunker to buy. It's roughly 1650000 but you do need to make sure that you have all of the upgrades and the upgrades for the bunker we'll get into a little bit a little bit later on it's performance and security and things like that will net you or will end up being about 1.5 million all right so for the chumash location you'll need about 3.2 million and some change uh the next best bunker would be the farmhouse location as well all right that's going to be one of the more expensive ones but overall the chumash is the way to go so you can also renovate the bunker. You can add stuff in there, the style, personal quarters, shooting range, gun locker, golf cart, transportation. You don't need any of that starting out, especially to make money. Those are things that you can add on later. In the bunker, you can store a MOC, the Mobile Operations Center, and you can have your anti-aircraft trailer in there as well. And then you can add in there for the MOC your you know, kind of like the customization area where you can, you know, upgrade the MOC, all that good stuff. If you want to do that, again, you don't have to have any of that in there at all. The gun range is actually really fun. I like the gun range. A lot of, a lot of people struggle with the gun range. I have a couple of videos explaining how to, you know, get through the gun range because you do get some cool perks. You get some free clothes. You get some added and extra throwables, which can come in handy. And plus, it's just really cool to complete those challenges to be able to say that you did it. All right. And I'll leave those videos in the eye in the sky here in this video as well to help out with the gun range. Inside the bunker, you see this is kind of like your manufacturing area where all the magic happens. You saw where you store your actual goods to sell. You can actually watch those boxes and crates grow with more inventory. To operate the bunker, you need to be either a VIP, a CEO, or a MC organization. If you are selling with friends, definitely make sure you register as a MC because your friends will get paid more to help you out. All right. If you're going solo, you can go either way. It doesn't matter. I usually just go CEO so I don't get rated as much. Right. Now, when you log in to the disruption logistics, this is where you can kind of check out everything that's going on here. As you see, we're looking at the research. Uh, you have a whole bunch of different research <laughs> options that you can take care of here. And the only way to do the research is to either set your, you know, your inventory or your workers on the research manufacturing or you pay for it. All right. All the research together will cost you roughly 12 million and some change to buy it all. If you set your staff to basically just complete the research on their own, it takes dozens of hours or right? it does take a long time. So as you see, right, this is where you can sell your stock. Always sell to Los Santos. It's absolutely worth it. Um, right here is where you can kind of assign your staff to manufacturing, to the research, or to both. And this is where those upgrades will really come in handy, the equipment and the manufacturing. They'll speed up both the manufacturing to make money or the research to get your unlocks. Uh, you know, without those upgrades, it's going to take a lot of time and you won't make any good money with it. So keep that in mind, all right? This is where you can buy your upgrades right here. It's going to be the equipment, the staff, and security. You want to make sure you get security, but that's something that you can add last. It does help out. It doubles the amount of time it takes for you to get rated from this business. And yes, you can get rated with the bunker. If your supplies is at 50% or higher, the raid timer kicks off. With upgrades, it's uh, 10 hours. Without it, it's 5 hours. So keep that in mind, okay? Now, when you go to sell, if you're doing this business solo, which the bunker business is the best passive income uh, for solo, the bunker and the nightclub are really good. The bunker does make more money per hour uh, than the nightclub. The nightclub sales are going to be just as easy, if not easier, but the bunker sales are extremely easy. They, they really are. What you want to do is just buy one round of supplies at 75000 
wait two and a half hours for that to cook. It takes 10 minutes for the supplies to be delivered, about two hours or 20 minutes for it to cook. And then you're able to sell two Los Santos for 210000 Subtract the seventy five grand that you put into it to buy the supplies, and you net profit 135000 in two hours and 30 minutes, which is you know pretty good money. Definitely as a passive income. Now, if you want to fill the bunker all the way up and sell that way, you absolutely can. However, I do recommend you have a couple of friends to help you out, as there are a couple of sale missions, primarily the bunker or the uh, the the dune buggies, uh, that can give you a lot of trouble if you don't have some friends. But listen, you don't need to f- to fully you know you don't need to fill the bunker all the way up and sell it. You don't make any more money that way. It's really much better to just sell the bunker at the two hundred ten thousand limit. Because you guarantee yourself one vehicle, it's much easier to manage that. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you sell five at 210 or just one at 1050000 which is what it is completely filled up. It's the same. It doesn't matter. So definitely, you know, especially for solo players, just buy one round of supplies, let it fill up uh, in, the, in the time allotted, and then sell it. It's that easy. So the bunker is a passive income. What that means is that this, all you have to do is just buy the supplies and it will passively create income. It'll generate that income for you and all you have to do is sell it. That's it. It's real simple, real easy. Most of you all know the bunker by now. If you've ever, if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen a bunker business guide or a selling guide or a buying guide. I've got tons of bunker videos, but there are still thousands and thousands of new players coming into GTA 5 online every single week. So I want to make sure every year and anytime it's double money, I give you guys a refresher and a recap of what's going on. And, you know, I don't always have to go in super detailed, just give you the, you know, the gist of it and what you need to have. Um, You know, again, this is what you need to have to get going, to get started, especially if you are a beginning player. You can add on all the other stuff like the sleeping quarters, the gun shop uh, to, you know, uh, rearrange your, or the the weapons locker to rearrange your guns. Uh, You know what I mean? The the shooting range, again, that's fun, but you don't have to have it to start making money. That's the most important thing is getting you guys set up uh, to get income, to start making money. And with the Cayo Perico DLC, the new meta right now is to actively make money with the the heist, the Cayo Perico heist, while your bunker and your nightclub are cooking for you in the background. Just to summarize, you want to make sure you have roughly 3.4 million to not only purchase the bunker, but also the equipment upgrades, the staff upgrades, and the security. Now, you don't have to have the security up front, but that is something you do want to have, right? Make sure that you register either as a VIP, a CEO, or an MC. And if you got friends to help out, make sure you register as, a, as an MC to get them paid more. All right. If you're a solo player, purchase one round of supplies at 75 grand. Wait the amount of time to get it built up to sell to the Los Santos location. That one round of supplies will guarantee you one vehicle. Super solo friendly. Very easy. Very simple. And you just rinse and repeat. So that's your 2021 Bunker Business Buying and Selling Guide edition right there. If you guys got any questions at all, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Smash, I mean, smush smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.